The tail section of the Whirlwind went through a number of design changes and iterations. The original design concept was based on a twin tail configuration. Early model wind tunnel tests revealed the twin engine configuration produced an unstable airflow over the tailplane creating oscillations and some severe vibrations. A conventional tail layout fared no better. A proposal to crank the rear fuselage upwards to clear the airflow was deemed to be impractical. The design decision to adopt a T-tail configuration produced a number of concept designs before settling on the final one. The T-tail of the prototype was not an unqualified success, requiring a number of modifications. The main problem being poor longitudinal control with the rudder proving ineffective at low angles of incidence and low speeds. It was especially poor in the takeoff and landing flight envelope. The remedy was to produce a horn balance style rudder with asymmetric concave surfaces. At high speed the T-tail produced strong vibrations. <coughs> it was established the blunt intersection of the tailplane to fin was creating an area of compressibility of the airstream, a little understood phenomenon at the time. The solution was to provide an extension to the intersection in the form of a streamlined fairing, possibly the first example of the area rule calculations now in common use in high speed modern aircraft. The vertical fin spar flange provides the foundation for the connection of the tail section to the rear fuselage. The fin spar also holds the casting for the retracting tailwheel pivot along with the main connecting casting for the fin and tailplane. A very complex piece to manufacture. The undercarriage locking plate sits on the front of the fin spar just below the top connecting nose rib joining the fin to fuselage. The all aluminium construction of the tail section is composed of conventional flange ribs and bulkheads. Areas of the main fin are double skinned to provide the required strength and stiffness. The rear of the fin spar below the tail plane is divided into an upper and lower section the lower section forming the undercarriage bay. An extension to the bay's horizontal bulkhead carries the lower rudder pivot casting. The upper section consists of four horizontal ribs and the curved diaphragm bulkhead. These are bounded by the fin spar and the off-centre curved rudder screen. The upper section also houses the differential elevator gear, a mechanical component that increased the torque the pilot could apply to the elevator through the control column. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity run by a dedicated group of volunteers. If you feel you can assist in the project's aim of creating a complete reproduction of this lost iconic World War II fighter, please visit our website and Facebook page for details. Also visit our active partner and home of P7056, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum Trust at Hawkinge. Many thanks for watching. Please keep an eye open for the next update, part 2 of the tail section.